Hey guys, it's Jen, and I just wanted to show you some of my latest layouts um, before I put them away. So this one is a picture of our two nephews and our niece when they were much, much younger than they are um, now, which I entitled it The Younger Years. Um, it's just a really simple layout. I uh, just used this butterfly paper, which I would never probably use for much else. I like the other side, and I just used it as a border. And then I cut down a piece of this sort of plaid-ish paper for in the center. And then just layered um, some little pieces that I had lying about here. I have no idea what these collections are from. Um, but they are not all from the same. None of this is from the same one. This little piece here that I have layered beneath, it's actually like a... A printed postcard and I just roughed it up with sandpaper and used it I like the colors that it had in it so and then I used some splatter um, which was this one the ink it ink a doo in black which it actually dries more of like a charcoalish color with some um, shine to it and then just some sequins and some little um, stars, wood veneer stars. So that's that one. And this one is, I feel like I may have showed this, but I think I, this may have been one that I did in a um, process video that I can't get to upload because I need to figure out some other way. Using my phone isn't working, so um, not for like fast forwarding and long videos. So this is a picture of, or these are pictures of my husband and our dog Fletcher that we had um, shortly after we had gotten married. We were renting um, a place up in the middle of nowhere, and um, yeah, we had Fletcher for six years. He got sick and we had to put him down, but he thought that he was a lap dog, so that's the title of this, is Lap Dog because he didn't realize that he weighed 100 pounds. Um, and this tag here has journaling on it, and that's what it talks about. It's sort of hidden in there, because I didn't want it to be out in the open, because it's personal. And if somebody's just flipping through there, you know, just didn't want them to, to read the journaling. Some of it, you know, is fine for people to read, and others, it's just more personal. So, um, and we were really attached to our pets, so... That's why. But anyway, so I just used some tags here on the left, and I used more of this ink to splatter with, and just a few little, um, uh, what are they called? Enamel dots, that's it, and some rhinestones and sequins, and just, it's a mishmash of different things. This is an old piece or page out of a book, and just some old cardstock that I had um, run through one of my embossing folders. That's basically it. That's that one. Oh, in the background, there's just a piece of um, paper, one of my paper pads, and I just used black ink and a dry paintbrush and just made the background. And here's a picture of that same doggy when he was a puppy, and this is my husband sitting there eating potato chips and watching TV with Fletcher on his lunch break. He used to come home every day and... Um, eat lunch with Fletcher and take him out and play with him a little bit before he went back to work. So that's what this talks about here. And this is a mishmash too because this is, I'm thinking this may have been, oh, am I wrong? I'm not sure. I thought that was, maybe it was basic gray, but I was thinking, oh no, the back of this, this is Bow Bunny. Um, and this was something I got in a Studio Calico kit, and this is um, just, I think that's Webster's Pages, it was the back side of a paper pad that I got and that I didn't particularly care for, so I used it to cut out doilies with my doily um, die, and just, you know, did some more splatters with the same ink. It was here, and it, you know, it's a neutral. This one's more pictures of Fletcher um, and my husband years and years ago. And this paper, um, this and this, 
all this paper except for this piece in the background came from the same paper pad, but I don't remember which one it was. I made this banner myself with the offcuts of the paper and splattered some um, blue ink as well as some brown and just labeled or titled this one Chillaxin because they would just sort of sit and watch TV together. Gosh, look at that ugly, ugly couch. It's terribly ugly. Um, it was free. Um, <laughs> that's what happens when you're young and in love. Um, you can't really afford anything nice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we were living on love. Um, I just poked holes and then hand sewed some embroidery fro floss, not frost, embroidery floss around there to just add some texture and use some brads and a button and, um, matted the pictures on some of the burlap paper. Yep, that's that one. And then this one I did today. Kelly came over to scrapbook and this was the first one I worked on. I didn't get a whole lot done. I got two layouts done, but I'm pretty slow. Um, this is my nephew, Sammy, and this is one of his soccer photos, obviously. So I went ahead and used some of the little, um, I'm gonna have to reattach that little guy. These things don't like to stick. I don't know what's going on. Um, they're really old, so that's probably part of the problem. They seem sticky enough, but then when you put them down on the paper, they don't they don't stay. So go figure, right? So I'll just adhere that while we're talking here. Um, I ran some string through the tops of these letter stickers here, these stickers, and. Uh, just adhered them with glossy accents to make sure that they would stay and layered some papers. This brown paper had a bunch of holes cut out of it, but I just went ahead and used it and covered up the holes that I had punched out for a different project. Um, inked everything with brown ink to bring it all together. Um, this color of his shirt was really hard to find a paper that would go with that because it's a really odd color. It doesn't match the background paper, but I think it works. Um, and then the darker green in these pieces um, go okay because of the grass. Basically just layered a bunch of stuff, used a couple of brads there. Um, yeah, I wish I could make process videos. I think they're a lot more um, enjoyable to watch, but yeah, I need to get, I'm thinking maybe an iPad would be the answer. Um, this is a picture of my mother. Um, she passed away in 2002, so this is a really old picture. But this is our apple tree out back, and she was posing next to the apple tree. And she would absolutely hate that I'm sharing this picture. But you know what? I think she's beautiful, and I miss her so very much. So I went ahead and made a layout. So I used um, the Capella from Basic Gray. I just had a few sheets of it, so I just went with what I had, and it seemed to go well with the colors that were going on in the picture between the tree and what she was wearing. Um, and then I just cut out a big circle and a smaller circle, and then just used some of the stickers. And these are just some gemstones I got at Joann's. I was having trouble figuring out where to put the title, and then all of a sudden it came to me to just put it on the top of the circle, and I really, really like it there. That's what led me to then add the gems down here at the bottom because it seemed unfinished with nothing here at the bottom. So I went ahead and did that. And then I just layered some um, pieces up here with some stickers and put a gem in the center of that flower and this one as well. And this is one of the flowers that came or that I got to go with there with the Capella line. So that is that one. So thank you all for watching and I hope everybody has a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.